the immediate past chair of the Women's Caucus, I present to you my good friend, my neighbor, my soul sister, Jan Schakowsky. Nice to welcome you. My sister Gwen Moore. You know, Gwen just recently was in Chicago where I have my ultimate women's power lunch. About 1,600 women and about a couple hundred very secure men who come as well. And she had them on their feet absolutely screaming. She did this whole rap on Wonder Woman. She had her Wonder Woman stuff on, and she had these Wonder Women bracelets that she, that she says, ward off bullets and bullshit. <laughs> From the uh, from from the the video, uh, Gwen Moore is the uh, one of the perhaps the most articulate and ardent advocate for those who are who were hurting well before the recession. Her voice is so important in the Congress. Thank you, Gwen. to come here, I said, yes, I get to go to ground zero for Democrats. Right. So I thank you, uh, I thank you, Mike Tate and the Democratic Party for, uh, for inviting me here. I want to do uh, a, a shout out for uh, Tammy Baldwin. We are, we're uh, classmates. We got elected together. what's going on. She can't wait till that gavel falls so that she can get home and stand with the, uh, the workers and the activists in, in, in Madison. And I am proud to be part of the Tammy Baldwin wing of the Democratic Party. No stronger advocate for veterans and for family farmers and for our Midwestern values. And I don't know, is Dave Owen still here? I just want to say how much we miss our uh, chair of the Appropriations Committee. He is the most lovable and progressive curmudgeon. Uh, a, a warrior for the, the, the little guy, and I am looking forward to Pat is a Kreitlo to take that seat back. I got a chance to see my really dear friend, Steve Kagan, Dr. Steve Kagan backstage. He put an indelible mark on the historic health care bill that we passed. It is so important. We it, we want him back. And, and I, I don't know where Senator Cole is. I know he's going to be speaking. I wanted to thank him for his extraordinary service over 23 years in the Senate to the people of Wisconsin, but the people of America as well. Thank you, Senator Paul. It's an honor to, uh, to, to, to be with him. And I want to thank and support Rob Zerbaum on behalf of the millions and millions of Americans for taking out Paul Ryan. You know, I really started as a, uh, as a grassroots organizer myself, um, and what I see here in Wisconsin is grassroots organizing at its best. And what I'm really, what I was really excited, what I've been saying behind your back now for months, to thank you, Wisconsin Democrats, thank you, Wisconsin workers, Thank you, Wisconsin public employees and labor unions and activists and progressives. And thank you, Wisconsinites, for changing the narrative in the United States of America. How 
important your work has been and continues to be because of you and your relentlessness and your spirit and your kick-ass, never-say-die attitude. We, all of us, elected Democrats and tens of millions of ordinary Americans are standing taller and finally we're playing offense. Thank you. So, you started a prairie fire here in the heartland that is spreading across the country in Ohio, Indiana, Michigan, and beyond. And I want to specially call out the 14 Democratic Senate here. They came from Indiana. We're ready. We're open for business. So you know, any time, any time. What you did was start a prairie fire here in the heartland that is spreading across the country. The powerful wind of righteousness, of fairness, of Midwestern common sense and values. That wind is carrying your embers across this country, and we know this prairie fire won't be stopped. Of course it can't. The firefighters are with us. So I, and I want to thank the firefighters and the, and the police for standing in solidarity and Scott Walker trying to separate us. It didn't work. It didn't work. So what you all did is really quite amazing. You didn't ask anybody for permission. You didn't wait for poll results to act. You didn't ask for any outside help, though thousands of us were attracted to your movement like flies to a picnic. And you have, in fact, changed the polls 